uh, that's the alt store is currently the only way you're going to get Dolphin to work on your iPad or on your iPhone because okay. uh, Dolphin does not seem likely to be coming to uh, the iOS app store anytime soon. Uh, so let's talk about that. Okay. Uh, you want me to read it? Yeah. Uh, and what will undoubtedly be sad news uh, to many, the developer of the popular GameCube and Wii emulator Dolphin has confirmed the app won't be coming to iPhone. Over the weekend, o Oatmeal Dome, the developer behind Do Dolphin iOS, uh, shared a blog post explaining why really? iPhone users uh, won't see Dolphin or its variants on the App Store. The release behind the reason behind Dolphin uh, Dolphin's App Store absence is that Apple does not allow just in time or JIT technology on its platform, an essential tool that enables Dolphin to run with good performance. Oatmeal Dome further explained why JIT is so important for the Dolphin experience. Did we talk about this last? We've week? talked we've talked about JIT before. Okay, I remember this. Yes, because JIT is a funny word, and I would remember saying it. Yes. <laughs> Uh, the GameCube and Wii have a PowerPC-based CPU inside them. All modern Apple devices use an ARM-based CPU. This is impossible. Uh, this is impossible to directly run PowerPC code on an ARM CPU, and vice versa. Therefore, uh, we want to run a GameCube or Wii game on an iPhone. It is necessary to translate the game's PC power, PowerPC code to ARM, so that the CPU can understand it. Uh, JIT enables the power PC based uh, to ARM based CPU translation and Oatmeal Dell confirms that Dolphin uses something called just in time JIT recompiler to achieve this. Whenever the emulated console wants to run a game, Dolphin will use its JIT to translate the PC, the power PC code to ARM and then execute the results. Uh, the Dolphin iOS team uh, have approached Apple to try and get Dolphin running on iPhone using JIT without much luck. We submitted a DMA um, interoperability request to Apple for JIT support, but uh, Apple denied the request a few weeks ago. Oatmeal Dome suggests that Apple has security concerns re uh, relating to the implementation of JIT, um, using that the platform holder could consider uh, the technology a security risk. It is technically possible to run Dolphin on an iPhone without JIT. However, the downgrade in performance is substantial as evidence uh, in the videos below from Oatmeal Dome's YouTube channel. Oh, I didn't even see these. Yeah. Uh, it appears the developer understandably isn't keen on releasing Dolphin iOS in a compromised state, revealing that we would likely uh, get endless complaints from users about poor performance. App review might also get just reject us anyway because the app is unusable. Omeo Dome's blog uh, comes a fortnight, not that kind, after Apple revised their App Store guidelines, allowing retro game emulators onto the iOS App Store. Um, since the since then, the emulator Delta has taken over the App Store. Blah blah blah. So, so the uh, the short answer is that uh, the GameCube used uh, power. PC yes. architecture and new Apple devices use ARM architecture, mm -hmm. only different architecture, and they need a way to translate the Power PC architecture to the ARM architecture. And the easiest way to do that is just in time recompiling. Yes. Um, and that's something that is available, but they don't let uh, App Store developers use for some. Them. yeah uh and they submitted a request to use it apple said no so there that's the end of that i would be willing to bet that eventually there will just be another way to do this yeah because that's just how emulation has been working yeah. i didn't know omil dome was the developer of this specifically yeah um, i mean it seems like dolphin is is the type of program that like there's different offshoots of like linux so i yeah. imagine like someone's going to take the dolphin code and find a way to get it to work on arm-based architecture well, it seems like that's this is how Dolphin works. It it uses yeah. the recompiler. But uh, yeah, I think that these new Apple devices are becoming so powerful that that extra power is going to be used to pick up the slack of the recompiler. Yeah. That is, you know, they, they, they'll someone will figure it out eventually. It's just not going to be as easy as copying the alt store version and putting it on iOS. Right. It's not going to be like how Delta was. It's going to take a lot longer uh -huh. to get. GameCube emulation on on your fancy expensive iPhone. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, it'll probably happen at some point. Yeah, I would like to see a 3DS emulation. I would like to see all that stuff. But uh, 
We'll see. Because you know what? Time. DS runs great yeah. on the phone. Okay. So that answers that. That answers yeah. why you might not be getting GameCube on your phone. At least not yet. At least not yet. I think I am I am holding through that you will eventually get it. Yeah. If if not this year, then definitely like by next year. No, it'll be a while. Like, yeah. it, it'll it'll take a yeah. while. But I feel like this is the type of thing where like people will work pretty quickly mm -hmm. or because like emulation is already now like popular on iOS. And if they see, you know, they see there's a need for it, they will like work as fast as they can to get a, a dolphin like program on iOS. I would say just continue to be very cautious with the uh, emulation apps that you would get. Like this is a perfect time for somebody to do an offshoot of dolphin uh -huh. that is just there to garner ad revenue and steal all of your uh, yeah. location data. <laughs> oh, yeah. So don't download anything until you see a YouTuber make a video on it. Yes. <laughs> um, someone that you trust. So, like, mm -hmm. uh, don't go too crazy. Delta confirmed pretty good. Yeah. Try, try Delta. Uh, anything else you see? That take, that don't go too crazy. It is really cool, though, having Delta and just being able to text somebody a ROM hack. Yeah. <laughs> just like, just like send, or a save file or something. Just be like, here you go. Yeah. Here's uh, your Pokemon Ruby with all shinies in your party or something like that. That's pretty cool to see. Just don't do that if you're in Japan. You will go to jail. 